Hello and good evening. Um, please, if you are ready for tonight's section, just send the eye or a word to show that you can go ahead. Um, yeah, Mr. Osas, Mrs. Um, Uluwashola, um, Mrs. Fintola, Mr. Ahmed, you're welcome. Miss, I'm not, I'm not sure whether it's, it's Mr. or Mrs. Goodness. Um, Mrs. Falashade, you're welcome, everyone. Well, we yeah, are looking forward to having a great night. I don't know whether we have the persons following us from YouTube. Actually, you're welcome. Um, sorry for the name. Um, despite the distance, so. Thank you. Um, Maybe I just try and walk around the, the lights, so people will see my face. Um, I'd like to ask us our experience so far uh, with the assignments, the tests, and all. Are we getting it? Is, is it getting clearer or it's probably getting, um, you no? Know, maybe you're not even understanding anything anymore. It's just getting more clumps yeah, and more. more. <laughs> I want to know our thoughts, our thoughts about this. Um, how, how have we found um, lessons so far? Um, so that's we're, we're going to be moving further. Uh, oh, thank you. Mr. Osa says, says it's getting clearer. So do we have other? We had, this, how do you post the assignments? Okay. Uh, we could post them on the, um, on the Instagram, I mean, on the Telegram page, or you could post it on my own personal um, wall. But find, find a way of um, sending it to me directly. I saw someone sent to my email, which is very good. I actually responded to that. So you could send to my email as well. So um, so we, we actually, I get some assignments. And I think from the feedback I had, I think um, a lot of persons are actually um, getting it. So um, th th this is good news. and. Um, all I just wanted to say is, please don't stop. Um, from, don't stop getting better. Please get to the best point. I just not um, honor you for being better. If to be them as that, you have to be at your best. So um, let's do more than just getting better. Let's try and push to the end. So today uh, we will be going to queries and question, and then I mean well, I think we spoke about queries and question yesterday. So today, today we'll be going into lexical resource and the final one, which is grammatical inaccuracy. Um, I believe um, we understood what trend and trend, I mean, the some about trend exceptions and all that. Just a particular um, work I, I sent yesterday, I'm not sure whether everybody saw that, uh, about this Darwin, Melbourne, and the impact. I don't know whether, whether it's everybody that, that had this one. Some people didn't understand it, but I will, I will leave it for another time. Let's go straight to what we are here for tonight, which is coherence, I mean, lexical resource. Now, on the lexical resource, now, just to summarize what we have been doing yesterday, what we, have been doing yesterday um, we are dealing with um, parameters. Parameters are the things you need to do to have a seven in writing tax one. And I said we have four broad parameters. Number one is um, tax, tax achievement, and then number two is coherence and cohesion. Number three is lexical resource, and number four is grammatical and accuracy. And um, I said that lexical resource, um, being the third, deals with few things. Number one, we, we, the, the, the number one um, from of, of that is topic specific vocabulary. Topic specific vocabulary. Number two is spelling, spelling. Number three, comment adverbs, comment adverbs. <clears throat> Number four is confusing, confusing adverbs. I'm going to explain that. Or confusing words still trying confusing words and then we have complex adjectives 
complex adjectives. Let's stop there. Okay. So, moving on. Um, dealing with um, the other ones, we have the grammatical grammatical inaccuracy. Under that, we have the first to be sentence varieties. Sentence varieties. Contributions, tenses, typographic article, and language. Impersonal statements. Which impersonal statement? <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, I just had a call. I'm trying to interrupt that. So now let me try and break down what I've said. Now these two parts I just mentioned, they are the second leg of uh, of the parameters. The first leg. I call it structure. That is, you, you knowing the order, how essay should be ordered from the beginning to the end. Now, the other one is called, what I call function, okay? That is the inner strength of the essay. If you, if you have a very good structure and then you have issues with your spellings, you have issues with, with the kind of sentence you are using, topographical errors, you have problem with um, accuracy of your synonyms, did they mention accuracy of synonyms under lexical Let me add it to it. Accuracy of synonyms. Now, <clears throat> when you when you have problem with all of that, and you have a good structure, you're going to have a five point five. Straight on. That was five point five. But if it's the other way around, you have problem with the structure and you have a very good handwriting. Okay, we had the other handwriting. And then, you know, your, your grammar is beautiful, your sentences are fine, you have no problem with spelling, but your structure is, is, is in trouble. No trend, I could identify your exception, I could identify that you come up with a 5.5 as well. So, what does that mean? They are very important aspects equally. But the good news I have again is if your structure is, is very good and your function, that is the, the, the way your words went, is not too good, it's just fear. You could if you get a 6.5. But if you have a very good structure, a, a very good um, function, maybe um, your grammar is good, spelling is good, all those stuff are good, but you have a fairly good um, structure that is tax achievement and queries and question. You come up with a six. So, more importantly, there must be a lot of attention placed on your structure. So, I, I, I like to encourage you so, so heavily this night please put more pressure on yourself to know how to write a good essay. We are going to do that tonight. And um, I just don't know whether you know what they're question from all, all I said, but let me just define the word confusing words. Confusing words is using a word you, you, you are trying to use a word instead of another word. Now, what's right between sensitive and sensible? Any difference, please? Somebody should help me. Sensitive and sensible. Who can just just send you um, the send send the meaning through a, a, a message? Sensitive and sensible. Okay, okay. Someone is, someone wants to talk. Please talk, please.
Okay. No message here, too. Please, you can you can just stop. I, I want to hear from us. Sensitive, sensible. What's the difference? Okay. Sensitive means delicate. Okay. How about sensible? Now, now imagine if I wanted to write sensible and also sensitive. All right, they are not the same meaning. So that is what they got confusing was. You bring down your mark. Comment adverbs are adverbs used to introduce a new perspective to a, to a sentence. You have been coming from a particular perspective. Then you want to talk about a different perspective, not totally contra contrasting it. So you now use a word. The, the word is called com, com, uh, com, com, uh, comment adverb. Like interestingly, surprisingly, inadvertently. Something that you are saying just to show that I want to say something that is a bit different from what I've been saying, but not exactly opposite from it. Okay? So those words are actually they have a way of pulling marks for you. The same thing applies to, uh, I did mention collocation. Yeah, it's part of lexical resources. Yes. I did mention collocation. That is word formation. You're trying to form words from two words. You bring two words together and then you're bringing them to, to, bring a, a, to, to, to mean a, an entirely new meaning. That's word formation or collocation. It's also part of a lexical resource. If you can use them appropriately, you are jamming your mind. All right, and uh, actually, that is uh, that's that's the good and right thing. Is write this down. When I for the the second time I I actually had six in right in I am writing, my family members came and had a meeting over me and said they want to teach me how to write. I should get two A exercise book. <laughs> I start writing A to Z, you know, so. Um, you could be surprised, your writing could put you in trouble, and you may get a very low score because of handwriting. So please, I encourage that you strongly work on your writing before the exams um, and practice through it. People say, do I use a pencil or a biro? Well, in practice, use biro because you can cross over. But in the exam, in real life, you know, there's no room for film trick. Use pencil so you can erase if you want to change any stuff. Okay, now we have been talking about preliminary since yesterday. Tonight we're going to move into a very major part of the essay, and that is how to write an outline. Everybody write this down. How to write an outline. A very, this is a major, amazing part of the essay. You cannot do without this wherever you are. Please let us get this part. And I, I think you're going to have this is this, is, this part I want to talk about is what forms your structure. This part of outline, uh, if you are sleeping, wake up, if you are dozing, come up. We want to talk about something really key. How to write an outline. This is a major, major part of the mm. essay. And if you can get this part once and for all, I may not have to put you, I may not even have to assess your work too many times for, you, for me to be sure that you are, you, are, you are okay with an essay. A lot of people have issues with this area mm. and they tend to oh no, uh, uh, repeatedly make errors around it. There are five steps to writing a good essay. Now, the outline for me is what I call the foundation. Now, if you have ever seen a, um, a tax one question, there's a way they ask. They say, summarize the following information by selecting and reporting on the main features and make comparison where relevant. So number one, all they are wanting from you is a summary and a descriptive summary. But they need you to do three things to get to the point of summary. Number one, select the main features. Number two, report on the main features. Number three, Make comparison where relevant. Now, selecting the main features is one aspect of the assignment that will not reflect directly in your write-up. Because when you select the main features, you may necessarily not um, 
have to write it out that okay, number one, I'm selecting this part. Uh, you, you may not write it in your in your in your answer sheet, but there's a a, 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 an aspect that this with that, and that aspect is called the outline. The outline, the aspect that this with selecting the main features is called outline. I don't know whether you're getting this. So the question now is, I mean, the, 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 the problem now is that many people don't know how to select the main features. They do not know how to, and that is a major, my voice is breaking. Please, if you're not hearing my voice, can you just say yes or no, something. Uh, right now, I don't feel that anything is happening. I feel I'm just flowing. Please, if you're not hearing me um, clearly, can you just, let's, let me see, let me see a hand or something, just to know. If, if, if I have, if you have used my voice, please let me just know, please. If my voice is, if you're not hearing my voice clearly, send a sign. And if you're hearing clearly, just send yes. If you're hearing me clearly, let me have a yes to be sure that at least you didn't get all the parts. Okay. 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 I think that, that might have been a local problem, please. I can hear you, sir. Okay. Very good. Very good. So that means <clears throat> at least about, please kindly like, re relocate. I mean, just find a way of locating into in a place where you can get, hear me better. Probably around your house, you get me get to hear me clearly. So I said the aspect that deals with selecting the main feature is called selecting. It's called outline. The other that deals with selecting the main feature is called outline. Now I want to say this as a pain to me. This part is the least taught in IELTS. If you go to many lesson centers, you may not find this. It's just the all you try to try, try to tell you is just. Look at your essay, look at the one that is common, write it and all that. But it may not go there, it may not be good that easy. You need to really know how to draw an outline to have a proper essay. And if you can get this part, we have we have destroyed part one. I'm telling you, we have destroyed task that, one totally. Task one just died. If you can get this part very well. So how do you how do you draw an outline? There are five steps. Number one. Determine the type of data. Remember yesterday I said that someone should just um use the type of data can remind me. You can type in the chat room or or we have forgotten the two types of data we have. Movement and uh, static. Movement and static. Movement sir. and static. Thank you very much. So, very good. That's accurate. Now, so you're going to determine whether the the, um, the data is a movement or static data. That's real number one. Number two is you're going to be writing the unit of measurement. Now, not all data has unit of measurement. Why some have? So you write the unit of measurement as your number two. The number three you will be listing out the groups. Now, I, I think I mentioned what group is yesterday. I said there are the lines in the charts, there are the bars in the what? In the bar in the charts. So you just write the names of those groups out, one after the other. You list everything from one to whatever number. Then number four, you, you show the trends of the group. If it's a movement data, you show the trends. So if probably we have Lagos, now let's let, let's do this together. Write these groups to, write, write these groups out. Lagos, Oshun, AKT, Nasarawa, and Edo State. Write so those groups out. So those are five groups. All right. Now I'm just speaking an imaginary uh, an imaginary um, chart or something. So it's not something that I'm just speaking in. Uh, uh, I mean, a, a, a phantom chart. So. You have written the five five rules. Please, can you use them out for me? Lagos, Ocean, Lagos, Ocean, Ekiti, Ekiti, Nasarawa. Nasarawa. All right. So, number four now tells me to describe or study the trends and the exceptions of the group. That's number four. Study the trends and the exceptions of the group. What do I do? Now, in my graph, Lagos increased, right? Increase for Lagos, right? Increase for Lagos, right? Increase. 
all right? Osho decreased. So write decrease in front of Osho. Edo increased. Write increase, increase in front of Edo. Nasarawa increased. Write increased in front of Nasarawa. What's the last one? Ekiti. Ekiti. Decreased. Write decrease in front of Ekiti. Write decrease in front of Ekiti. All right? So, what are my trends? My trend is the pattern with the highest group. So, let's count the pattern with the highest group. Can we go? Yes? Three. So, we have Lagos. Three. Uh -huh. Lagos, uh -huh. Lagos, 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 and Nasarawa. Nasarawa. Yeah, thank you. Now, the, the, the ones that we are called exception. The group with the least, I mean, the pattern of the least group. So the, the problem is with what? Um, Osho and what? Osho and what now? And Ekiti. So and Ekiti. basically, it goes this way. Our friend is Lagos, Edo, and Azarawa. Why exception is Osho and... Now, so particular group, it doesn't, group, it doesn't increase, it doesn't decrease. Those groups are called neutral. Now, there are some groups that are usually like in between the two. For example, in a particular um, graph like this, where you have Lagos, Osho, Edo, and Nasarawa, Lagos and Nasarawa increased. Edo increased and decreased. Hmm? All right. So, are we together, please? So, now you now have. All right. I, I hope the noise is down now. So you now have. All right. You now have. Osho increasing and decreasing. Why AKT decreased? So Edo and Asarawa increased with Lagos. But Osho increased and decreased. Why Nasarawa decreased? Now, very clearly, Nasarawa is directly decreasing opposite of Lagos or um, Edo and Asarawa. I mean, Am I correct, please? Okay. So, Osho becomes the trend. Now, the one that I increase and decrease is called Nutra. That is, it's following, it's kind of characterizes of the two patterns. It's just in the middle. Sometimes, the Nutra could just be a straight line. Just go on straight. No move up, no move down. Or it's contrary in characterizes to the others. But it's carrying almost similar characters to the two, to, to the trend and the exception. They, these are called neutral. Yeah. I, I hope you get me, please. So, I'm trying to explain what, um, how, how you can identify trend, exceptions, and neutral groups. So that you don't get conflicted when you find such situations. Alright? So, now, when you have noted the trend and the exceptions and the neutrals, you write it down. Then you now pick the highest trend and the highest exception. The highest trend, if there's only one exception, that means you just pick one exception. If there's only one trend, I mean, of course, you can't have one trend for movement data. So you just pick that trend, that becomes your lower, your highest trend. Then you now write out the figure. Okay, the highest trend figure is 500 meters. Why the low, the highest exception figure is 2 meters? Write it out and place it in your um, script. Now, it's not supposed to be written in your answer sheet. Just write it in um, a, a rough sheet. It could be your question paper. Just write it there. It becomes your guide. 
Now, I'd like to know if anybody has questions from what I just shared. And the same thing applies to static data. The only difference is that in picking your trend for static data, you're, you're not dealing with the pattern or the highest group. You're dealing with the group with the highest value. Why a session is grouped with the lowest value? People seem to get that one very easily. And I, I think I applaud everyone for that. That's beautiful. So um, this becomes a very simple way to deal with outline. Outline. Write it down. That becomes your guide. So um, I, I'm, I'm looking at the time now. And it looks to me that we still have quite a lot of time. So I would like to give room for five minutes of question on outline. Then I will move straight to reports how to write a report we have talked we have talked about selecting main features now to deal with how to report how to report now no matter how beautiful an architectural design is a rich man cannot live live inside it do you guys just said now and does it make sense no matter how beautiful an architectural design is, a rich man cannot live inside. He yes. has to turn it to a house. So if you like, write a powerful outline, your examiner will not see it. They, they, they will not even check your work. They don't care. If it's nice, if your report is not okay, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You will not be seven. <laughs> you know, so it doesn't matter. So the report is the proof that your outline is fine. Excuse me. So let's move on. I, I, I like to ask: Does anybody have any problem with, or, or, with with outline? No, sir. Is it the outline same as planning? Yes, for part one. Yes, hundred percent. Tax one. As I mean, it's called outline. Join the outline. It's also planning too. Very perfect. Any other question, please? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, ma. So let me just move on. Like no other person is asking a question. So um, how do you now convert it to a report? This is the this is the order of a report. One, introduction. Two, trend explanation. Or let me let me put it this way. One introduction to body all right so on that body you have trend explanation figure illustration secondary trend explanation tertiary trend explanation please if you go i just said just write it out if you go i just said can you write it write it out please Nobody is writing anything. I just want to be sure that we are going back and forth. Okay. Introduction, trend, uh, body. Then on that body, we have trend explanation. Okay. All right. Let me come again. So we have introduction, body one, body two. Overview. Those are the four aspects: introduction, body one, body two, overview. I B B O. Wow. I have to come again, please. Just flow with this. Ibo. I B B O. Introduction, body one, body two, of the overview. Ibo. E B B I B B O. I B B O. All right. So now, I stands for introduction, body one stands for, I mean, B stands for body one, B stands for body two, and then we have O, overview. So on the introduction, I will come back to that. Now, on the body one, we have trend, not for, trend explanation, T-R-E-N-D, trend explanation. Then we have figure illustration, followed by secondary trend, 
tertiary trend. Then you move to the body two. We have exception, explanation, figure, illustration, secondary exception, if any. And if not, we have the neutral explanation. Neutral explanation. Please, sir, come again neutral with body two. Please, if I'm saying rubbish, just tell me no, that. Body two again, sir. Eh? Come again with body two. Hello, sir. Body I didn't get the I B B E. Yes. Sir, that's the order. The order for I B B O. I B B O. I B B O. Okay. Introduction. Body one. Body one. Body, body two. two. And observe. Um. And um, um, so overview. And introduction. Body one. Body two overview. Okay, Intro introduction is the understood. Body one, body two, and overview. Okay. All right. So I already mentioned body one. I said body one. This with what? Please, if you got me, write it out. Trend. <laughs> Trend uh, explanation. Yes. Trend explanation. Figure yes. illustration. Secondary Body. trend explanation. M figure Fishery illustration. Secondary I, I trend I'll... explanation. Your voice better. Can you probably increase your volume or something? I'm, okay. I'm going to as clearly as I wanted to. Okay. So, trend explanation. Explanation. Figure illustration. Figure illustration. Body one. Second. Okay. Secondary trend explanation. Secondary, I mean secondary and explanation. Now moving on. Trend well, I said move body to the two. next one, which is um, body two. Exception. Explanation. Exception. Explanation. Figure illustration. illustration. Um, secondary exception, secondary if any. Exception, if and then, any. Then neutral. And neutral explanation. explanation. Then we have the overview, which is. Like the summary of the whole essay, and it's, just, it's simply carrying the highest trend, the lowest exception, exception, the highest trend, lowest exception, lowest and exception. any other significant feature. Highest trend, lowest exception, and any other significant feature. Are we together, please? Yes, sir. Eh? So? Yes, sir, we are together. Thank you. Thank you, Hassan. I think I'm trying to show you what you have written. That's beautiful. Okay, so, um, uh, now, I, I didn't talk about the introduction because it is the simplest part. What it has to do with is um, uh, paraphrase your question and add the unit of measurement. That's all. Paraphrase the question and add the unit of measurement. And that is... A very simple thing everybody can do. Just change the nouns to a noun that is of exact meaning, or the verb to a verb of exact meaning, or change the noun form to a verb form. Okay. Highest exception is the exception with the highest figure. Lowest exception is the exception with the lowest, lowest figure. In your overview, you are expected to express. In that particular sentence, the highest exception and I mean the highest trend and the lowest exception. So that is the exception with the lowest figure. That's the meaning of lowest exception, please. So I said introduction is the simplest. Someone said she lists what body to. Sorry, I didn't get that. Please, can, can, I don't know. Please, can somebody just uh, list what body to until for? Okay, for um, Mrs. TJ, I think that will help her a lot. But for the two so says extension, so explanation. The now is specifically dealing with bringing your examiner into the essay. So you just want to write, you want to show him that you understand the question. So you write it in, you write it in, in another um, 
form while retaining the meaning. Intro means you are trying to introduce your examiner to your uh, um, to your essay. So you paraphrase the question, and the question usually is the, the, the body below shows the so and so and so, and all that. That is all. That is all about. So it is the simplest aspect, and will not really give you pressure. All you just need to do is understand and understudy that it is simple. <laughs> Sorry for using that English. And um, you know, sometimes we are frustrated because we cannot remember synonyms. So we just look for one word that is near it. Okay, maybe for instance now, like we are talking about parents and guardian. Now, because you cannot find a hundred words for parents, now you do not use guardian. That's a zero. Is if I, it is it is it is safer. Let me use that word. It is safer to retain the, the same word in. Uh, in, in in your in your essay, than to use a wrong word in the name of looking for synonym. So better bet, better option or better wisdom is change a noun to a verb. Like consumption can become consume, sales can become sell or sold. Okay, noun can be changed. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, maybe it was talking about race. Race can turn to run. Okay? So, find a way to change the form of the verb or the noun. Or you can change the noun to a verb or the noun to, verb to a noun if you are not able to remember the exact keywords that suits that word. And I, I, I'm saying this again because of emphasis. If you write a word that is not the same meaning, you will have marked deduction, and that is actually going to be more risky, all right, than when you actually just get a word that is not the same meaning, all right. So, that is on paraphrasing your comma should be well used, you must be careful of your tenses because, see, when your introduction is full of typographical errors, you have already diminished the interest of your examiner. And your examiner is going to have a high, high suspicion, um, uh, whatever, uh, with, with your work because you believe that you don't know how to write grammar. <clears throat> so, best bet is attempt to let, uh, let your um, introduction be such that it's free from error, completely free from error. That is actually very key. All right. So, now I, I'm talking about the body. I spoke about trend explanation, and some people are saying, hey, which one is this one? It's very simple. You can write it in four different parts. Write this down. CCTV. CCTV. That's the format for trend explanation. CCTV. Format for trend explanation. So C stands for connective device. C stands for connective device. The other C stands for change or changes. T stands for time. And V stands for value. Now, connected devices are simply conjunctions or complex adverbs or complex adjectives or prepositions that are used to bridge the gap between sentences. They are used to bridge the gap between sentences. And they are used to bridge the gap between paragraphs as well you will you use connecting device to let the reader know what your intent is in writing so when you want to start an essay or I mean uh, start a body paragraph you start with what's like to start with to begin with all right first of all or firstly or first okay then you now move into 
the details of what we want to talk about, which is the next one called C. C. That's that's what now. Sister, so what? Change or change. Change. And it could be written as a noun or as a verb. That is the complicated because it as a noun or as a verb. So, now, write this words down. The words of change. Write it down. Words of change. Write it down. Increase. Move up. Took an upward trend. Took an upward trend. Increase. Move up. Took an upward trend. Rise. Or lose. Um, please, you cannot. You can add, add your own to it. Okay. Shifted upwards. Surge. Thank you. Thank you. You can just add your own. Now, for 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 decrease. Yes, decrease slightly. Decrease uh -huh. dramatically. What about this one? You said what? I think you can use increase. Yes, increase. Yes, increase too. Uh, now, for de for decrease, fell, no. plunge, so move downwards, one? fell downwards. Also from now, the let me tell you a major rule. Took it upward, took an upward trend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Took an upward trend. I'll tell you a rule, tell you a rule about it. CCTV. Don't you? Mm. Don't you? Be careful of CCTV it's because it is actually the form that your essay will go from the beginning to end. And so, so but it's concerned. Me. Went up, moved up, moved up, moved up, moved up went up. 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 So from the beginning to the end, so you have C C C V. See, it's somebody get some help. Come here, come down, please. Please, somebody help. So that everybody can be able to. So we have C C T V. C C T V. C C T V. C C T. Now, if you look at what I said, right, I keep talking about trend explanation, figure illustration. Now, that figure illustration is actually V. It's V. Because you're talking about how much you're talking about. What, what is the essence you're talking about, okay? Hmm. So, how do you get your seven with CCTV? Never repeat a word twice. So if I said to start with, to start with, Lagos had a sharp increase from the beginning at 200 kilograms. What is my first C to start with? What is my second C? Lagos had a sharp increase. What's my T at the beginning? And what's my V? Uh, what's my V? The value. At, at what? Yeah, thank you. So I can now repeat that same pattern, but changing my frame of sentences, changing the words. And I will finish that essay. So I can now say, okay, instead of CCTV, I can say C T. Okay, C V. I can say C T C V. That is, I have to talk about time before talking about what change in 1991 or in 1990 or at the beginning. Lagos had a sharp increase. Okay, at so and so, but there are two parameters in, the, in that structure that cannot change that's the first C and the last V. Connected device will always start or link, while V will always end. 
Am I making sense? And that actually becomes your structure for your trend explanation, for the figure illustration, which is always um, the figure illustration, which is always the value. Then you now talk about another trend explanation using um, a link word to join and not repeating any word you have said before. Oh. Yeah, add your score. Now, what is the problem with this method? You can tell me. It's beautiful, it's straight, you can easily get your work. But what is the problem with this method, please? Someone should write it, someone should write it out or, or, say, or tell me. Nobody. Okay, I'll say it now. The problem is, you will find it difficult to remember the kinds of words you should use, except you are trained. So you may just, just rack your brain and think of a way to like frame your work. But the problem will be that if you are not well equipped, you are going to be having difficulties using accurate words. Accurate words. So tomorrow, I'll be talking about useful language. What are the kind of words you can use that will give you a powerful score in last well. using the CCTV method? It's time for question, and now I want us to. Excuse me, sir. Question time. I remember to turn me, on sir. your camera if you, have, if you have if you have a question so that you can see your face. Excuse me. The only way you can make me to get so, so bored about all the, all the shouting this morning is if you can have someone write. I'll just assume that the beginning. Of... <laughs> I'll just shout <laughs> <laughs> Screaming this morning. I know in our in, in the country it's called the name. So let's find let's let's talk. Excuse me, sir. Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Me. Hello, sir. Excuse yeah, me, sir. Please. Yeah, please. Can I see your face? Um this is my face, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like um uh, recently, all these um white tutor, they used to tell us immediately after introduction. We should write an uh, overview, and that overview should not carry figures before body yeah, paragraphs yeah. for task one. Uh, is, it, is it good like that? Your overview can come as the second paragraph or the last paragraph. But the reason why I'm not laying any emphasis on this right now is this whether it is the second paragraph or the last paragraph. You are perfect. Now, about the year of figures, okay. overview do not carry figures 100%. That is true. Okay, so sir. Can you hear me Thank please? you, sir. I appreciate yeah. it. Overview yes, does not carry you. figures. Thank you only describe it. That's all. Don't, don't okay. write any figures within it. Yes. You're welcome, man. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm saying. Everything question here. What the best tense to use for tax one? Well, okay. For static data, the best tense to use is present continuous tense if there is no year attached. If there's no year attached, it's a present continuous tense. If there is year attached, it's past tense because it will always be a past year. Okay. Then when you're not talking about movement data, if it is dealing with your past, which is always the almost always the case, all right, that's past tense. If it's not dealing with the future, that's future tense. So it now depends on the perspective right now. There's no statutory word, uh, whatever. If it is talking about your past, the past, that's past tense. If there's no time attached, present continuous. Okay, if there is a um, future, you may be uh, ten years from now, five, and they are mentioning it on the page. At any point, you will make reference to those past. You mention a 
I mean, you use future tense. I hope that's clear. Okay, so questions, please, as we finally round up. All right. Can we discuss so, an I'll example? I'll short assignment tonight to be a shocker. You will be required to draw the full outline of our messages and try to write a body one paragraph. Okay. Okay. Yes, I have another question. Don't worry, just write it anyway you are late, but try and follow the method, the method we share tonight and see what you can do on what? our level. All right. My yeah? okay, sir. My other question my other question is in terms of uh, paragraphing your your writer. That is when you are starting a new a new uh, um, uh, body. Yes, you give a whole the, line. You know, Yes. Okay, I will leave a whole line before I start. That's what I yes. want to know. Is one okay yes. or two? Is one, one, one. Okay? Yes. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank okay. you. Another question, please. It looks like everybody is tired. Let's let me call Mr. Bella to come and speak to us, and then um, we we'll go to we we'll go to rest. Sir, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, somebody is speaking, but I'm not hearing no. Sir, can we can, can we get a, a material that, we, that that is explicit on this topic? Material so that we can. That you can what? Uh, a, a, a material that that that, that uh, uh, relating to this. Particular tax, okay. Writing tax one, you can give um, to us. There's a particular book I think will help a bit with um, tax one. Um, I will send it on the Telegram page, okay, so we sir. can just go through it. That will probably give a little insight to what you have been saying. So, so, yeah. so, uh, um, also, also um, there is one. The, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, not no, not hearing clearly anymore, please. So they can bring the um, route to IELTS nine you sent to us is quite challenging. It's challenging. Yes, <laughs> it didn't really follow the pattern, the pattern that you that 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 that, that you taught that you taught us. Like I proposed, it's challenging. Yeah. Well, let me, let me just say that it is better to have challenges right now than to have it during the exam. And um, if you have to go through a I text come. more than once, it's better to do that rather than just avoid the the uh, the, the, the tendency of its difficulty. You, you don't expect to see something easy now. No, you should not even expect that. No. I'd rather go through it, learn what you need to learn from it, and then whenever you see a, a tougher one, you can, uh, I mean, attend to it easy. Easily, like for inst like for instance, they can say uh, one fifth, one fifth of the population. While in the passage, you see twenty percent, which uh, they are the same thing. So uh, it's just a parallel. Yes, uh, but I, I, I will be talking more about the useful language tomorrow. You will okay, be understanding yeah, how to really um, put your words that we get your examiner um, to get you your score, your seventh, without any argument. So, sorry, sorry for this last question. Please, can you send the um, the um, road to IELTS eight? The one you sent on our tele on our Telegram page was was just the answer. It's just I will find I will look for I will look for it. If I find it on my archive, I will send it down. Thank right. you, sir. I'm yeah. grateful. Okay, so thank you very much. Please, uh, I, I, I would like to get I, the, um, the YouTube video as early as possible so that we can still revise. Well, let's hope to have it. Let, let's be hopeful. Sir? Um, Mr. Bella, please, I don't know that you want to speak to us today. I, I hope it's free. Okay.
Okay. I think that Isabella is not speaking to us today. I guess he's busy with. So now, uh, for everyone, um, so far, I think we have had quite a, a very ethic class. Uh, we had so many things to write and all. Um, <clears throat> let's just do a, a bit of us to try and um, write up an essay on what we have learned. It may not be directly um, as easy or as straight as I've said it now. But tomorrow we are going to be talking. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening sir. sir. Uh, Good evening, so sir. I'll be I'll be as brief as, as possible. Good evening, sir. Yes. Yeah. So, so I want I want to say, someone asked a question. Let me just uh, uh, respond to that question. Someone asked a question about materials. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Steven has a plan before we met him. He's an IELTS tutor. He charges people to teach them how to pass IELTS. His material is tailored towards uh, paid, fee-paying uh, candidates. That's what's called that way, fee-paying candidates. So Mr. Steven is being kind to us to teach us for free. Uh, he's not charging us anything. We're just covering the cost of internet and a few other things. So if someone wants material that Mr. Steven has gone through, because Mr. Steven has, has done a lot of hard work to prepare his own material. So if you want to buy it, it is not free. His material is not free. Mr. Steven has material that he's, he sells to candidates who pay him to get taught. So uh, I think we, we should be a bit careful um, how much we get from people for free, you know. So let's not take him for granted. Um, him giving us the knowledge, I think, is fair enough. Um, if we want materials from Mr. Steven, we can ask him privately, and he can sell it to us because it's his hard work. He has a book that you can go through, and it will be very useful. I think he sells the book. I can't remember how much he sells the book. But if you want to buy a book from him, you can, you can, you, you won't get that free. So I think he's been magnanimous to share his knowledge after a lot of words of encouragement and chat and chat. So I think we should be, let's not, let's not be too greedy, you know. So Mr. Stephen, whatever you can give for free, I mean, that, that would be great. But if anyone wants to buy, please sell to them. Um, so Mr. Stephen has books for sale if you want to buy, just, just ask him. Uh, yeah, so we just, I think we should be careful so we don't, you know, take too much. Because at the end of the day, the, the time he's spending with us, you know, you know, he could be using it for something else. So, Mr. Steven, I want to say thank you for all your hard work, sharing your thank knowledge. Thank you very much. As, uh, uh, I'm, I'm feeling so privileged. Um, and to everyone, I want to say, please don't give up. Keep on trying. Uh, I know some people who have written IELTS five times. I know some people who have written it just once. I've uh, written it twice, sir. Oh, wow. Wow. I, 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 believe, I believe right now uh, this will be the last time you, you write it. In, by the grace amen, of God. sir. Yeah. Amen. And I'm, 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 I'm going to see you over there. Amen. <laughs> yeah, very soon. Yeah, I, I'll, be, I'll be glad to, to, to help you guys with your relocation, you know, to the UK. Um, yes, so sir. please let us oh, just thank you, sir. That's one. I really need direction on that. Oh, which one? <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> I got to relocate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we offer help on that for free as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to to help on that. I, it's just I can't hear your question. Do you have a specific question about that relocation? <laughs> Oh. I, can't, I can't hear the question about about relocation. If anyone has any question about relocation, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy to answer your questions, and that's that's what we do. So we help people relocate. Um, so back to uh, back to what I was saying. So effort, um, effort is yeah. You can contact me. Oh, my contact. So uh, I think for for the purpose for. for I think just uh, either you send a tweet to uh, or you send 
a DM to because we're on so we're on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook. If you send it to overseas, is that I know uh, it needs urgent attention. So if you send it to my DM or uh, to my WhatsApp, I have a WhatsApp. Currently, yeah, WhatsApp I, have is okay. I have 90 messages that I have not been able to reply to. 90 messages. And I try to reply my message as, as possible as I can. I'll, I'll, I'll put the number out. It's plus four four. Uh, plus four four. Seven five seven two. Four so that's 7572 uh, yeah. So, uh, like I say, please, please uh, take, take as much time as you can to prepare for, for the exams. Uh, it will go a long way to make a difference. Uh, Mr. Stephen, once again, thank you very much. I hope I've answered your question. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I can't really hear much. So, Mr. Stephen, thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, yeah. Mr. Dan. Thanks for you know, the compliment. Thanks for the compliment. I'll just take these. Um, we um, the class. Tomorrow, we are going to be dealing oh, much deeply with, um, with the useful languages. And it's really going to five. be the best time. So, what I'll do is I'll just put my mobile on the group, just in case anyone wants it. I'll turn it again. So th thank you, everyone. Thank Sorry, you. No, I just, I just. Okay. So I just said I'll put my mobile on the on the group because someone asked a message that can we have Mr. Bella's contact? Okay. Yeah. So I'll just put down. I'll just type that. Um. So thank you so much, Mr. Steve. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks much for the privilege. Thank, <laughs> and thank you. you so much. For... Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Uh, I think we have come to the end of the class, and uh... I'll just say good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. thank you, tutor. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, coach. Thank you, Sabina. Thank you, thank you, thank, you. thank colleague, thank professor. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Uh -huh. Good night, sir. Good night. Yeah, bye-bye, ma. Good night.